forgot to tell you, the board of directors can usually be counted on to be a voice of reason in the WWE, but it seems like they've answered a controversial problem with an equally controversial solution. Will you stop being so sexist? Why can't you just admit that it's okay for a woman to be involved in a WWE title match? This isn't the 1950s, JR. That's completely beside the point, King, and you know it. The board has made a triple threat match that essentially is going to be a handicap match. I don't even think Chris Stratus can legally be a WWE Champion. She's not even in the position. And under these two-on-one circumstances, I have a hard time picturing the masterpiece Chris Masters walking out of SummerSlam without the WWE Championship. remember the last time I've seen a man have to fight so hard to win back something that he never rightfully lost. Come on, admit it. Don't you get tired of all his moaning and complaining about being screwed out of the WWE title? Actually, I've been extremely impressed with thus far, King. I can only imagine that he's saving it all for the ring. tonight. I, 
think history has just been made, JR. Trish Stratus might be the first female WWE Champion in history. But wait, I don't want to sound sexist, but I'm not sure that Trish is legally allowed to hold that title. I'm sure she's not, King. That would be like a 300-pounder winning the Cruiserweight title, or a single superstar winning both tag team titles. Well, maybe I'm just a little more open-minded than you, JR, but I'm proud of the barrier that Trish Stratus has broken here tonight. And I'm gonna give her a special treat and let her celebrate with the King tonight. Hey there, it's Mickey. Look, I'm really sorry about how the Triple Threat title match turned out for you last night, but you have to look at the silver lining, okay? Like tonight, I'm going to get a chance to win the WWE title from Trish. I know you and all the rest of the boys in the back will be cheering for me tonight. So wish me luck, okay? Bye. <laughs> The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Toronto, Canada, Trish Stratus. From Richmond, Virginia, Mickey J. live tonight from Santa Fe, New Mexico, where this capacity crowd is on its feet. If we don't get this show on the road, I think we're going to have a riot on our hands, JR. You might be right, team. Good thing we've got extra security on hand here tonight. This crowd is ready for action. We're not going to win a match by insulting your opponent, no. But having the crowd behind you can certainly get the adrenaline up. like someone's heading for the high rent district. Look at this! Look at this! You talk about a house of fire, you're seeing it right here! Yeah, was he gonna get the three count here? A textbook reversal there! Was that three? No? Come on! These superstars are putting on a great match so far, JR. But if they drop the ball, these fans will let them hear about it. I don't think that's gonna happen, King. These competitors know that they're paychecks. This could be a pinball. That was like two and seven eight, JR. I'm not sure I agree with what the crowd is chanting, JR, but I guess it's their right. You're damn right it is. It comes with the price of admission. Superstars also finish off their opponents instead of giving them time. Looks like he's trying for a pin here. Oh no, this is terrible. You can't let your opponent build this kind of momentum. Well, all I can say is someone's been eating their vitamins and saying, Oh man, I think we're about to see a high risk move here. Oh boy, the adrenaline is pumping. I think this could be the beginning of the end. No, it can't end. Oh 
boy. What's this? It's Stephanie McMahon. You know it's going to be a big night when the daughter of the chairman of the board pays us a visit. For a month now, I've watched this whole title controversy unfold. I'm not going to stand for it any longer. The board of directors may have failed to make a decision, but I am going to remedy that right now. My family, the McMahon family, created that title. And for the good of Raw and all the people out there, I'm taking it back. Can she do that? Her last name was McMahon the last time I checked. You want to tell her she can't, King? Hey, there's only one dominant female in the WWE, ladies, and you're looking at her. But Trish, I've got to admit, I kind of admire what you pulled off, so I'm not sending you away empty-handed. I'm gonna give the previous champion a title opportunity at Unforgiven, but I'm gonna let you pick his opponent, because I know how you like doing favors for the boys in the back. Well, Trish Stratus may no longer be the WWE Champion, but she's going to choose one of the contenders for the vacated title. You seem to be under the mistaken impression that Trish ever was the WWE Champion King. I think Stephanie made it pretty clear that she wasn't and never could be. You know, I've never been Chris Master's biggest fan, but I've got to say he's gotten a heck of a raw deal lately. Trish turned on him in an insane plan to win the WWE title for herself, and now he finds himself out of contention for the title. You're right, and the masterpiece is going to have some aggression to work out here tonight. I'd hate to beat either of his opponents in this triple threat. lost his WWE Championship in what can only be called a swirl of controversy. And I have to believe that he will be the popular choice to win it back at Unforgiven. Come on, JR. Stop playing favorites. He'll be whoever Trish chooses as his opponent. And speaking of Trish's mystery contender, I think it's just about time for us to find out who it is. Well, I don't believe yeah, it. The it's the Big Show. The Big Show is Chris Stratus' yeah, choice to compete for the WWE title yeah. and Unforgiven. I guess size matters to Trish. Yeah. Well, you gotta like Show's chances at Unforgiven. And his two opponents definitely have their work cut out for him tonight, too. from Baltimore, Maryland. I'm Jim Ross with Jerry the King Lawler. I know I say this a lot, JR, but I think tonight's show is gonna be the best one ever. You might be right, King. Of course, the Raw superstars always seem to find a way to outdo themselves every week, and that shouldn't be a surprise. You gotta give Big Show some credit, JR. He, the quickest way to lose a match is to underestimate your opponent. I don't think he's underestimating anyone, King. I think he's making it clear that he refuses to be intimidated. No question about that. 
and JR. The fans certainly seem to be into it, that's for sure. And when it comes down to it, Seven feet tall, 500 pounds. That's a whole lot of superstar right there. Oh, he's big, all right, JR. He can't even go to the beach anymore because Greenpeace keeps trying to tow him back into the ocean. You better hope that the big show doesn't hear you saying that again. I'm not so sure he'd be as amused by your sense of humor as you seem to be. Sounds like this crowd's got something on their minds, King. Who cares about them, JR? Look what's going on in the ring. <clears throat> I think I know who's gonna win this one, JR. Oh, really? Enlighten this, King. Wait a second. Why are you so eager to hear my prediction? We could be looking at a pitfall here, folks. each other here tonight, JR? I had a feeling their paths would have gone sooner or later. And I'm glad I'm here to see. Me too. It almost makes it worth having to sit next to you and listen to those corny expressions of yours. What the heck is a government mule anyway? It's what you get beaten by. We're in the middle of a slobber knock. If you don't have the guts to stick around, you might run like a scalded dog when a case of the submission is locked in. This could be huge. Oh my gosh, JR! You can't go on without tapping out to this! <clears throat> I ask you who you want to win this match, JR. But it's been great. And since the start of the show, we've never won before. I'm trying to remain as protected as I can, King. But frankly, I'd rather see a good competitive matchup than see a protected superstar win or lose this thing. Oh, come on. Everyone knows you play favorites. You're always trying to kiss up to the fans by talking up whoever they're cheering for. I've never been a kiss up in my life, King. But there's more than I can say for some I call them like a season. And I'm flattered that the WWE fans agree with me as often as they do. I don't know how much more of this I can stand to listen to, JR. You know what the difference between you and I-95 is? You can turn off I-95. Which way this one's gonna go, JR? Well, from my perspective, this is still. And now, Pin! This could be it! This match has the potential to be an instant classic, and I think these fans are too stupid to realize it. How can you say that, Pin? How can you insult the intelligence of these WWE fans? Well, I heard that we gave them an IQ test, and the results came back negative. Folks, I've got to apologize for the king here tonight. He must have gotten up on the wrong side of somebody else's bed this morning. Wow! Listen to these fans, JR! You can fool some of the people all the time, and all the people... Look at... There he goes, JR! He's been busted open! Look at all that blood! Would you at least try and not sound so gleeful, king? This is serious! You're darn right it's serious, JR. It's deadly serious. All's fair in love and war, and this is definitely a war. Boy, what a match. I wouldn't even hazard a guess as to who's going to win this thing. What? Have you got both your contacts in one night, JR? It's been obvious to me since the start of the match. Oh, really? Well, then, why don't you just enlighten the rest of us, Kenny? No way. He's got his opponent in a pinning predicament.